I received a box of Fisher Chef's natural slivered almonds and were surprised to find 7 packages of this wonderful slivered almonds. I love nuts of all kinds but have not used very often the slivered kind and used mostly the sliced ones plus the whole almond. This was going to be fun experimenting with these wonderful slivered almonds. I knew it would be best to brown them to make them sweet and use two different ways. First I put one package in my small oven and sprayed a foil covered cookie sheet with oil and dumped the almonds in and spread them around. I used a 250 degree oven and stirred them up as they were browning, took about 10 minutes. Then I tried with the next package of browning or toasting them in a large dry fry pan. They both worked great and found a recipe for caramelizing them with sugar. Caramelizing almonds 2 tablespoons butter 1 cup slivered almonds 6 tablespoons sugar melt butter in large fry pan until it sizzles then add almonds and 4 tablespoons of sugar. Cook over medium heat while stirring constantly about 4 to 5 minutes, but watch closely as they can burn. Stir this till sugar melts then remove from heat and stir in remaining 2 tablespoons of sugar. Mix and stir all together and pour out onto waxed paper or foil and let cool. These then can be broken up into pieces and stored in a container with a tight fitting lid. I also made a second batch using brown sugar and really love both of them. I use these as fillers for any box of my chocolates that I give away. I will use this recipe often as I always give away chocolates for Christmas gifts. These caramelized almonds will work wonderful to add to any gift. I had to do some research as some of the recipes called for almond butter and I found a recipe for making your own almond butter. Almond butter 1 pound blanched almonds around 3 to 4 cups, I used slivered almonds half teaspoon salt 1 slash 4 cup me. You will have to scrape down the sides of the processor and continue to blend for 3 minutes until mixture comes together. I found I had to continue to pulse for about 5 minutes but check often and when it all comes together add the salt and pulsed a few times. Stir in a glass jar with lead and it will be ready for any future recipe. The recipe I found using almond butter was one I really liked and will use often called almond honey power bar that is great as a snack or for breakfast and also good to prop up your energy. Almond honey power bar 1 cup old faz. Remove and cool and place in large bowl with dried fruits, puffed cereal and toss to combine. Combine almond butter, sugar, honey, vanilla and salt until well blended and add to large bowl of oats and seeds. Continue to combining these ingredients until no dry area are shown. Spread in prepared small cookie sheet spray oil and place all mixed ingredients into small cookie sheet. Spread this evenly with your hands or spatula until all is pressed down. Place sheet in refrigerator or freezer and can be cut into bars. These squares are good for snacks or breakfast. I have placed the bowl in the refrigerator for short time but then made small balls with a small cookie scoop. I then placed the cookie sheet in the freezer and used these balls dipped in melted dark chocolate and are used in my gift boxes. They taste wonderful and go together very fast. I still have a few packages of Fisher slivered almonds left and will research again on the internet for more recipes to try. Love these wonderful Fisher slivered almonds and they are good for you too. At a whopping 24 ounces, this is a lot of almonds at a great price. I use them mainly on my salads to give a little bit of extra protein, 6 grams per serving, with Old Bay seasoning, Ace and B-O-O-O-M-1 for Old Bay seasoning. 24 ounce, and a touch of olive oil to bring my greens to life. I leave them out in a dish for my kids to snack on while silently fattening them up. They are non-GMO so I can feel good about it to boot. The bag has a freshness seal and personally I keep it in my freezer for added freshness. They last about a year so even if you don't eat them every day, you are all set for some time. Bonus glazed almond, lemon and blueberry loaf recipe on the back of the bag that can also be baked as a 12 muffin recipe. Some people complain the almonds are broken, I don't find them to be any more broken tea. Very good freshness, convenient and easy in the manufacturing process.
This is a good sized bag of halamans. They are non-GMO, preservative free, and they come in a wide sized bag with a resealable top. The ingredients are simple one ingredient equals almonds. They are great for a snack, to use in cooking recipes, or to eat with a salad. The bag I received has a January 2018 expiration date, however they are already half gone. LOL I typically do not buy almonds, so I can't comment on the price, but these are very tasty. The bag can stand upright, and it's nice for snacking because the wide top allows for easy access if eating them straight from the bag. Click link in description for more reviews.